Hey folks, Larry from Achieving Reality, the podcast. Have you been trying to figure out what subscription box to sign up for? If you're a movie buff, then I've got what you need, baby. Horror Pack. For just $19.99 each month, you'll get three DVDs and an exclusive. Or you can spend $24.99 and snag three Blu-rays and an exclusive each month. Just go to HorrorPack.com and pick your plan. Now, you've been told what to do, so go do it. HorrorPack.com Do you have any idea what we're doing? Well, I'm going to talk about this. And then uh, I guess we can do some wiki how or something. But we've learned everything. Oh, you're going to cook us up some food? No. Uh, heat up some hot water. Oh, you don't have the Keurig anymore. I haven't had the Keurig in a while. That's what that thing was really good for. Yeah. Uh. Okay, put the water, you have the water in the bin, you just hit the button, do the cake up out of it. Yeah. Get you a nice cup of hot water. Yeah. So yeah, we put the new uh, the new thing in and I put a new window, temporary uh, window uh, yeah. thing on. Almost on cue. Oh, I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? We haven't, I mean, we are recording, but we're not recording. Oh, yeah, Marissa and hot water. Woo. All right, everybody, it's time for another episode of Achieving Reality, the podcast. This year, we teach you how to not get beat up by an ostrich in an empty can. So, hey, you know, whatever works. <laughs> All right, sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode of, well, how not to get beat up by an ostrich in an empty can. Because why not? All right, we'll see you at the end. We can teach people how to pray like a Muslim. Larry's going to read to us, and then we'll think of something else to do. Cool. Probably involving Larry reading to us. Reading to us. Cluttered up her area. Look, we got place mats. Mm-hmm. How to tell if chicken's bad? Yes. Make a Dutch braid? Play Uno? That was the walk. We did. What did we get in uh, mail? Letters. So, yeah. Apparently we got a... Uh, a golf magazine. Maybe that's mine. Sure. You sure? Yep. She and Marissa's not been reading them? I don't think so. But if she has, good. Yeah, <laughs> and the next time you go out to the golf course, Marissa's like blowing you away. Yeah, that's true. All, all the cool stuff she learned in the magazine. And I think this is finally that stuff. Oh, well then I can go sometime next week then. Yeah. 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 This is what we'll start. What's that? The putt putt magazine. I think there is one. That's a miniature golf magazine you're thinking of. It's actually just a regular golf magazine, but it's really small. Very small. It's like reading manga. I don't want to sign up for Wiki House yeah, Weekly that's Newsletter. Other, yeah, that's what employed. All right, well, put that with the other stuff. Is that is that it? Yeah, there's only one page. No, I, I don't care for that part. There's only one page, yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right, that's put that with the other stuff. I'm trying to remember what do we do with that stuff. Should be on the desk. Oh, that's not upstairs. That's right. That's right. So I'll have to put this upstairs. Did, did we move the desk downstairs? No, 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 no. I not that you know of. Yeah, no. It's no, actually no. just as simple as in the spooky room. So I'll put this up. Spider this. room. Mm-hmm. I got upstairs real quick and put this on. Take your time. I'm okay. still trying to find trying some to stuff to do. Okay. Learn Moore's code. Dot, dot, dash, dash, dot. Crack your upper back. Mm-hmm. How to read a patient monitor at the hospital. How to relieve ingrown toenail pain? That's something a little wackier and less useful. How to read guitar tabs? It's not all that wacky, but it's less useful. How to make a paper hat? 
Okay. Just sounds like more of a visual thing. Okay. Uh, how to remove a hickey. Okay. How to give a fade haircut to males. Oh, here we go. How to shotgun a beer. Uh, did we do that one already? That I know of. Now, if you think we did, I'll, 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 I'll not do that. We did something that involved guzzling beer. Is that a <laughs> Wasn't beer that butt chugging? It may have been. I just mention it. No, we so, did. We did do a beer bomb too. Such quality content we keep. Who's here, everybody? It's Marissa in parentheses. Yeah, look. Who's here? Look. I'm here. So, last Sunday, I went to... Burbank. Burbank? I don't know. <laughs> no, I went to uh, Beaver High Farmer's Market, our famous, our favorite uh, weird food spot. Didn't tell none of us he was going or nothing. He just, just up and went. And uh, I picked up fish balls in shrimp sauce. This good boy. Yes. Hisbular Rakasas? Rakasas? Ricola. Ricola. And uh, I just kind of, I From ate Abba. it. Huh? From Abba. From Abba. I ate it. It was all right. It wasn't great. Um, fishy? Very fishy and shrimpy. But I wanted to read the ingredients in this because there was a couple of ingredients that I found incredibly funny. Are these any poop jokes again? <laughs> no. So there's 61% fish meat. Only 61, huh? Yes. There's there's millet, water, potato flour, canola oil, salt, spices, in a sauce made of water, powdered cream, canola oil, modified starch, shrimp, tomato? Tomato puree. Tomato puree. Spices, salt, Thickener, so Guma Guar. Thickener. Here's here's the one that really got me. I used that in the shower for my hair. Here, couldn't tell. Uh, here's the one. Here's the one that really got me. So the sauce is made with aromas and how, yeast. How bad does aroma have to be to count for an ingredient? I don't know, but it's a can. Well, they open a can of shirt strumming over it. <laughs> no, it didn't smell that bad. Well, no, they open the can over it to give it the. Oh. So you only got, it's only infused with that, it's not that. Only infused with the smell of rotting fish. Uh, it's a canned product that contains fish, milk, and shrimp, though there is no shrimp it says listed that, in it here. It says that on the can, this is a canned product? Yes, You're it does. holding the can in your hand, and it's telling you that it's a canned product. Yes. Yes. Wow. And then... And Viking's really literal. It's, well, it's Swedish. Uh, manufacture, manufacture on equipment that processes lobster. So if you couldn't already eat it because it had the shrimp in it, now they're telling you, by the way, you probably shouldn't eat this if you have a aversion or an al- allergic reaction to lobster. lobster yeah. Well, shellfish in general. But yeah. if when you say it's shrimp, it's like, oh, it's just a little shellfish. And they say, oh, they also use lobsters. It's like, oh, that's a big shellfish. But yeah. what's really funny is... In the English ingredients, it never mentions... Oh, it does mention shrimp, but it's so far down the line. Just wave it over the batch. Yeah, you know, they they cracked it open and dropped, like, one tail in there. That's enough shrimp. 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 Thank you. Yeah, shrimp. It, well, it does say shrimp. It doesn't say shrimps. Or shrimpy. Shrimp eye. It pisses me off when people go out and say shrimps. It's like persons. People. Me people, but it was made in made in Sweden, Sweden, manufactured by Orkla Foods, Sweden. And they give you their PO box, but it's imported by Chicago Importing Company, Huntley, Illinois. That's like my new pet peeve on these YouTube videos, where instead of people saying says, they say says. The one that gets me are all these, and, don't, and this is not, and I don't normally give the thing because I don't normally care, but this is not to piss off any Canadians. Like you could. Canadians, if you're doing American stuff, not American, if you're doing stuff from the U.S., 
make sure you learn how to fucking pronounce the words that you're using for us. The one that kills me the, the most lately has been Mackin. Oh. <laughs> for Macon, Georgia. There's a Valdosta down near Florida here in Georgia, and they, they call it Valdosta. And then there's a bunch of others. The other day I heard one guy, I can't remember what word it was off the top of my head right now, but they mispronounced it so badly three times. And the first time I heard it, I went, no, it's this. Now, I know they can't hear me, but... You don't know. YouTube Plus, you know. I don't have YouTube Plus. Uh, they do. They can, hear, no. they can hear you talking back. But, uh... Called Comments Plus. Yeah. But, um, they, uh... They kept saying it wrong. It basically like saying the word agree, and they were saying it agree, or agree. I'm like, oh my God, fucking stop. Just stop. And this one guy, I don't know why he does it, but he has the closed caption. So he's talking, but the closed caption is up. Mm -hmm. And it never it's never the same thing he's saying. It like it's mostly what he's saying. <laughs> he does that on purpose. He's just when, cut and pasting the script. Well yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. It's mostly what he's saying, but then he changes it up. And there's a word in there that you and I and everyone else knows, and I've even heard Germans say it correctly, and you know, folks across the pond say it correctly. And this guy was just butchering the fuck out of a, just a generic, like, like you'd say icy, you know, for the slushy drink. Mm -hmm. And he was, he was like, Ikey. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? He's icky. It's like, you guys are doing all these shows and you put one out a week one a week that means you got multiple days to research how it's fucking said and I'm just like ugh because when I think of ICs I think of we used to get those up at the Kmart when we mom take to the Kmart we'd, we had a little concession stand there and we'd go get ICs we'd get a cherry or a coke flavor yeah so maybe it is icky I don't know, but that just drives me crazy. It's like, guys, and and our favorite Mike o, Mike O have done, has done it a couple of times, but I give him a little bit of leeway because he's Irish and he's got that funny accent. When he doesn't say three, he says tree, and uh, he even he has said it. I say this wrong, mm -hmm. yeah. so, but so I give I give him and other folks like the Scots and stuff like that a good. Lick. But they're fucking Canadians. They got their own accent. They got their own accent, but mispronouncing certain words completely wrong just kills me. Just kills me. So, so there you go. That's that's my rant. And uh, and my fist bular. You. <laughs> you want to let your fist bular? You should see a doctor. <laughs> yeah, gave me a moist ointment. A ointment. <laughs> An ointment. Was... No, ointment. All right. So, uh, cue Fisk Bilar music. something new. And I bet this is something you didn't know how to do. It is. Well, I'm 
Unless you've run into a few of these, I don't think you really have. What is it? How to survive a fight with an ostrich. I mean, how to survive an encounter with an ostrich. You don't encounter ostriches. Well, maybe you don't have a choice. He broke into my house. <laughs> there you go. He was riding a moose. <laughs> it was very traumatic. He's riding a moose. Got a pet shark with him. <laughs> Two of the most dangerous land animals. Fighting an ostrich. One, use a long weapon. <laughs> if you're for- use a pole arm. If you're forced to defend yourself against an ostrich, avoid close quarters combat. Keep as far out of reach of its legs as you can, since ostr- ostriches can kick hard enough to kill a lion. I would just love for there to be footage of that. There probably is somewhere. Roar, smack. Roar, kick. <laughs> Well, no, it's not that they just hit it in the head and it dies. They, Their claws on the end of the toes are, will gut it. Well, instead of kick it hard enough, comes out in its eyes. Yeah. It's forceful, and that's not slicing. Well, it has a... Those toe, those toe beans are very sharp. Use the nearest long object that can be used as a weapon, such as a pole, Ooh. rake, or broom, or branch. If you have a gun... Don't worry, guys. I got a halberd in the car. Have, well, in the car. Uh, if you have a gun and need to use it, aim for the ostrich's main body to better ensure hitting your target. Yeah, because the head is I, the I size... Aim of, for the big part? Yeah. Yeah. Unless you have a shotgun. Well, they still just, aim for the big part, but you're going to hit... for the whole fucking thing. Unless you're using deer slugs, then just go ahead and aim for the, the main part because you're taking a freaking fist-sized hole out of it anyways. Just piss him off nice and good. Yeah. They'll run at you for a second and then fall over in a pool of blood. Yeah, yours. <laughs> Two, keep to the ostrich's side. Consider your consider yourself most at risk when the two of you are face to face. Remember, an ostrich is only able to kick its red legs directly in front or behind it. I love how they That's say not- stay behind or to the side of the bird. No, they can. They can kick backwards, so don't stay behind. How do you do this? Carefully. I don't know, I'm trying to stay to his left. <laughs> the, Which part of the bird is the left? The pictures of this thing are so funny. Aim for the neck. If you have the stick or halberd or whatever. No. Consider this to be the o- ostrich's weakest part of the body. But it's- Still small compared to the rest, the main body. Yeah, but if you hit it in the main body, you've got to get close enough to do that. If you're far enough away, it's it might come at you with its head, so you can hit it in the neck. This is the weirdest thing. Strike it where it's most vulnerable and least protected. Defeat it more quickly. If failing that, aim for it. Defeat the ostrich. If failing that, aim for the breast. Concentrate your efforts. You just screw up all the meat. What? You screw up all the meat. Concentrate your efforts between the two as opportunity affords. Continue continue to strike until it quits and runs away or dies. So don't get hurt and kill it till it's dead. And hit it until it falls over, yes. Four, damage its wings that it doesn't use. (laughs) Damage its wings. Oh, that'll learn it. Yeah. If the ostrich refused to give up, despite... Well, no, they, they they have big wings. They do, but they, they, they don't they can't fly. Yeah, but they can smack you with them. No, they're they going with they're gonna come after you with their Because when they come after you they'll spread those wings up like this and Yeah, and flail around and look all from, silly. Yeah, but it stops you from getting to their side where it's safe. You know what? Apparently they, it's not safe. They're basically forcing you into being in front of them so they can then kick you. If the ostrich refuses to give up, despite your attacks to its neck, aim for its wings. When given the opportunity, know that an ostrich will use its wings not for flight, duh, but to alter the course more smoothly when running, like a ship's rudder. Or for gliding. <laughs> Damaging its wings may marginally improve your chances of running away in a zigzag fashion if you're forced to retreat. Serpentine! Five, go for the legs. So hit the ostrich. Basically, what all these things are saying is hit the ostrich with a long stick, a pointed stick. Doesn't matter if it's pointed or not. 
you find yourself behind or to the side of the ostrich with an easy shot to one of its legs, take it. You know that the ostrich's center of gravity depends entirely upon those two skinny legs. Given a chance, deliver one, give her a blow to one or both to upset its balance, speed, and striking power. Pull the carpet up from it. Mm-hmm. Two, invade, evade a charging ostrich. There's a dude. Run away! There's a dude in a yarn shirt behind a, a, what looks to be a pallet wall and a 55 gallon drum, and he's standing there pointing at the drum. I don't know. That's the picture. And the ostrich is just running by. So basically, hit it and run away. Run away! Run this, away! This is, this is their advice. This is the knight to say knee, apparently. Or the uh, the uh, the vicious rabbit. One, run for nearby cover. Uh, <laughs> expect ostriches to attain a speed of about 43 miles an hour over open ground. If there's dense vegetation or woods close enough for you to reach before the ostrich reaches you, nope. sprint for that. Nope, there's no there's no woods I want to reach before the ostrich gets to me. Prevent the ostrich from attaining optimum speed so it has a less chance of outrunning you. So hit it. But if it outruns you, who cares? Well, Go no, the other direction. Well, no, if it comes running at you, it's going to catch up with you. If there's a more stir- if there's cover more sturdy than vegetation, such as a car or a man-made structure, get inside it. Or, Go for that. A kick from an push- ostrich leg can hit you with an impact of 500 psi. That's that's hard. That's a lot of that's a lot of pussy. Ooh. <laughs> you don't think you can make it? Don't attempt it. Ostriches are extremely fast and will attack by kicking you in the back as soon as they catch you. So, so if you don't think you can outrun the ostrich, just stay there and take your medicine. Yep. No, hit it with a stick. A point dead stick. Get to a stick first. Otherwise, run away! Did you say there's ostriches out there? No, you don't get my stick. Two, conceal yourself. Rest get assured. My glaive. Rest assured that <laughs> while ostriches do eat meat, they stick to insects, small reptiles, and rodentia. Turkey jerky. Sometimes. Uh, which then makes them... No. No? They're not turkeys. Okay, no. They are fowl. Yeah, but I mean, like people eat monkey brains. Uh, not really so much anymore. Well, I would say it's the same level of controversy. Unless you're Hannibal Lecter, then you eat human brains. Yeah, but usually the human brains are stupid people. And then feed them to you. Understand that a provoked ostrich will chase humans primarily because it feels threatened, not because it wants to eat them. Because you're bigger than <laughs> it. Uh, there's a new movie for us. Yeah. Ostrich jaws. Man eating ostrich. You like moose jaws, but with ostriches. At your first opportunity, oh, that would piss off Kevin Smith so bad. Wait a minute, how did they get to make that shit? You guys wouldn't fund moose jaws? Well, I was supposed to send up some that sheep movie. Yeah. Black sheep movie. Oh. Duck behind cover that conceals you from its view rather than risk a prolonged chase. Expect the ostrich to lose interest once it thinks you're gone. We don't have an animatronic ostrich. These are all real ostriches. Yes. Three, elevate yourself. Remember that an ostrich is ca- incapable of flight. If no hiding places are to be found on ground level, climb a tree. Wait for the ostrich to lose interest and leave before coming back down. So basically everything they're saying is stand there and hit it with a stick. I'm not getting up the tree either. <laughs> Here's a great one. Dive into a thorn bush. No. Opt for getting pricked by thorns <laughs> instead of being disemboweled by the ostrich's razor sharp talon. Me. <laughs> it's like jigsaw of ostriches. I'd like to play a game. Would you like to play a game? Me. Either jump into the thorn bush or suffer the wrath of the ostrich. Get You're a stretching for ideas, oh, aren't you? Get a long stick. Expect the ostrich to refrain from poking its head in after you in order to protect its large eyes. No, that's not as stupid as you are. You can jump into a thorn bush. <laughs> Five, lie on the ground. Resist the urge to run for cover or elevation if it's too far away. Instead, play dead. 
Press your stomach to the ground. Cover the back of your head with your arms to protect your skull. Brace yourself for the ostrich to toy with you. Wait for it to tire of this and leave before getting back up. Be aware that this method may still hurt. You think? The risk of injury from the force of the impact of an ostrich kick is dramatically reduced when you lay down. The ostrich kicks forward, then downward, with most of its force, force spent in the forward motion. Talons do pose the danger still. Why would it? I just, just don't. They just kick you. I mean, if you're laying on the ground, yeah, but it, why does it have to? The ostrich may hands? stand or sit on you before it tires. An adult ostrich may weigh between 198 and 350 pounds. It's a big bird. Big goddamn bird. That would be funny if it sat on you, though. Not to the first that sat on it, wouldn't. Well, I mean, if it sat on your ass, it wouldn't matter so much. Unless it, you know, poops. What happened to Johnny? He sat on by an ostrich. <laughs> Three. Yeah. Avoiding <laughs> encounters. Yeah, the, the, the logical one. Be aware of your surroundings. Whenever you are in an area that may be home to ostriches, evaluate the landscape. Avoid open areas. Evaluate your choices on coming out there. Stick close to cover and note which areas would be most safe to retreat to should you encounter an ostrich that's pissed off. Avoid close contact. Carry a firearm. Maintain your distance when you spot an ostrich in the wild. Consider any distance less than 110 yards away as too close. If an ostrich advances towards you, back away. Even if the ostrich appears calm, never back one into a corner since this will trigger a fight response instead of a flight response. No, because they're flightless. Mm-hmm. Why would I be trying to corner an ostrich? Maybe, uh, maybe you want feathers? I'm going to fit this ostrich whether it likes it or not. Oh. I want to lick this ostrich's face. Three, beware of ostriches during mating season. How about just beware of ostriches? Consider them to be at their most easily provoked this time, especially the horny males, who are tasked with protecting the female's eggs. Since ostriches tend to roam in pairs or alone at other times of the year, recognize breeding season by the presence of herds numbering anywhere from 5 to 50 at a time. Ostriches are black and white, and red all over. And weirdly enough, it says, and a red flush appears on the front of their legs. Distinguished females by their brown and gray coloring. And their minis. Micro minis. Because you know you got to have good walking. Yes, minis. Exactly. They have a video here on how to survive an ostrich attack. And uh, the funniest thing is it's an ostrich with like shark teeth. So there you go. That's how to survive an ostrich attack. We could ha- I could tell you on how to... We're safe now. We've read the Ricky Pitt Howe article. I could tell you how to prevent or survive a monkey attack. Don't get a monkey. What if I attack it? You're not a real monkey. A monkey? But you're not a real monkey. Technically, you're just a higher evolved monkey. Maybe. Much higher. <laughs> Maybe. How to feed wild baby birds? Get attacked by an ostrich. <laughs> Get attacked by an ostrich. How to feed a wild baby duck? Get attacked by an ostrich. Yeah. How to keep you safe. Get attacked by a duck. I'm on my duck. How to keep safe from swooping Australian magpies? Okay, well we can don't, don't go to Australia. Don't go to Australia. All right, we, we want to sign off on this one, and then we'll maybe. No, I have another one. I'm not going to do another bird one yet. So, all right, so a uh, Q music. ostrich music? I don't have any ostrich music. Emu music? Emu. No, no, not you, emu. 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 <laughs> All right, and there you go. And now you realize I'm a complete lunatic. Yes, that's right. We didn't teach you how to defeat an ostrich in an empty can. We explained to you how not to get your ass beat by an ostrich and what used to be the contents of said empty can. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Achieving Reality, the podcast. 
for Chris Chris in parentheses and everybody else involved. I'm Larry saying don't eat canned ostrich. It'll just be a can of whoop ass. Good night. this one now. Hey there, listeners. Larry here. If this is your first time listening, then, hey, how's it going? You're listening with a friend or just kind of ran into us. I can help you find us some more. You can find us by searching on Spotify or Podbean by typing in Achieving Reality in the search bar, or you can go on Facebook and type in Achieving Reality and find us that way. Thanks a whole lot, and keep enjoying the show. We love y'all. Cue Fisk Bilar music? What would that sound like? I don't know. Tinny. Yeah. Uh, but, um,